kind of a bad way to start stream. <laughs> anyway, but anyway, hi everybody, and back on again. I'm going to do some more pinball. Oh, excuse me. I just ate a croissant, so probably not the brightest thing to do when you're just about to start a stream. I mean, hi everybody. <laughs> oh, anyway, um, but yeah, and um, but yeah, um, time for some pinball. Kind of lost my train of thought. Um, but and um, I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm about to say next. Yeah, that's right. Bad sleep. Um, yeah. Um, surprise, surprise. Um, I laid down at 6 p.m. my usual time, and this time around, a bunch of a bunch of forces conspired against me. So, uh, to start with, um, today was the day for bad sinuses. So, laid down and look. Um, I tried using nasal spray, but it's it worked for a short period, but I'd probably say about an hour later. Thunk. And uh, that stuff there, I can't use it all the time because I use it too much. It causes a reverse effect. So, basically a one-time use there. And then on top of that, um, I talked about this yesterday. I've had a problem throughout the week. Um, I have a... I injured the... Uh, a rip when I first did it, like, like, it's not like a, some odd days ago. I think it was the entire middle of my back um, around my left shoulder blade it's st it was starting to get better uh, but that was until today I shifted around in bed somewhere and ow ow that hurt and then all of a sudden I shifted around some more oh fuck so but this time the pain is uh, concentrated uh, it's it's called the rom it's called the rhomboid muscle. I'll try to explain this as short and comprehensive as I can. Um, it's around there. It's the muscle that connects your um, it connects your shoulder blades to your spine. That's where I'm feeling it mostly, and I have injured both sides of it over the years. But that's where the pain's mostly concentrated in now, on the the inner part, inner part between my left shoulder blade and my spine. That's where it's concentrated, and on top of that, it's also uh, concentrated on my uh, left pec. Left pec that I probably mentioned, I probably forgotten to mention that on previous streams. Um, it isn't just the, uh, it's where most of it is concentrated, just in the, the spot I mentioned around the shoulder blade. But I'm also feeling it from here, around the uh, upper upper chest area. Uh, so I I must have fucked something up big time. I don't I don't know what. Um, maybe I'm sleeping wrong. It could be some combination of um uh, combination of that going to work where especially on the um Wednesday and Thursday. Um, I don't want to get into specifics, but I've been having to I've been having to do a lot of uh, a lot of heavy carrying. Um, just. Uh, you know, picking up, uh, picking up heavy stuff. <laughs> you know, going from point A to point B. I noticed that, that maybe carrying stuff here on this left side, you know, might be affecting it. Um, I think there was also a fair amount of, uh, like, pizzas, cases of pizzas. Um, just a lot of heavy, wide cases. Cases that have me go up, lifting like, have me lifting like this. And carrying them around, you know. Uh, there's a certain word for this. I can only think of stimulating, stimulating the pecs and maybe the upper back as well. And, you know, carrying the, you know, carrying them around like that. I'm thinking that might factor in. Plus, um, the fact that I'm a side sleeper. I'm sorry if I'm creeping. I'm sorry if I'm creeping anybody out. But it, I don't do cast videos anymore, so this is it. So, you know, laying down in bed, I'm a side sleeper. Um, sometimes, I don't know if I can do this, but on my back, kind of, uh, I don't know how well you guys can see it, but side sleeper, uh, I almost look like a dead body, like a dead body outline, kind of my uh, upper left side, you know, upper left side, just kind of, kind of sprawled out there, you know. You know, and then laying down like that, even sleeping like that for, for like like an hour, an hour plus, maybe that's factoring in. So. 
I don't know, I'm thinking maybe a, maybe a physical therapist must have popped up and pop, must have popped up in my head and I'm talking to him. I bet. I mean, might be creepy, but they're a hell of a lot cheaper. So, but, yeah. So, there was, there was that, there was the injury, the sinuses, um, oh, and then heartburn, but that, that truly is my fault. I made the stupid mistake of eating just before I lay down. I think, um, I think it was like 5.55 p.m. or something like that, but just before I was going to lay down at 6, I figured, ah, fuck it. Had a croissant and a chocolate donut, um, just read a book and then plump. So, when I do something stupid like that, heartburn, heartburn kicks in. So, I wake up, and then I got to, like, take an antacid and lay down. Okay, good to go for an hour and wake up an hour later. I got to pop another antacid. Sorry for the long soft story, but I mean, I got timestamps in the description, so just, you know, if this kind of thing disturbs you, bores you, bugs you, etc., just click on the FX3 part. So, but Sam, speaking of that, um, yeah, once again, as you, as you can see, more pinball. So, uh, and again, um, I did play test FX3 earlier. It didn't crash with, I'm st sorry to sound like a broken record, but for, with one exception that I can think of, if FX3 crashes, it doesn't have to start. Like, it won't do it, like, way in the middle of a session. It'll do it, like, almost immediately. Sometimes it does it, like, right at the title screen. Like, the moment I boot the game up, the music kicks in. Then the, then the game, then the game closes. But yeah, sometimes it does that. So, but yeah, like I said, if it crashes, it does have to start. Um, I played a table, worked fine, so FX3 should work. So, um, but yeah, um, FX3 for a while. I'm hoping this is going to be a better session than yesterday. Yesterday sucked. Um, there was like a, a few silver line. There was like a few silver linings and a whole shit ton of gray clouds. But yeah, it I it was basically a, like three three or four hours I'll never get back. Um, this time around, session's probably gonna be longer. Um, at two a.m. it's ten ten p.m. right now. At two a.m. Um, it's gonna be the weekly reset in Gems of War. Most certainly, I'll be uh, I'll be streaming that. So we could be looking at a potentially a six hour stream now. The aforementioned poor sleep. Um, if I was to venture a guess, I'm just gonna off and on, off and on, three hours. Um, but, but if uh, if it gets if it comes to it, like uh, if it's toward like 1 a.m. or something like that, and then kind of like it was yesterday, I'll just go ahead and uh, I'll kill the stream, like just before 2 a.m. or something. And then I'll just do uh, I'll do the weekly reset stuff and gems of war on my own time. I don't um given how oh my god this is going over long um but I'm just gonna say given how how crappy and unstable my computer is I can't I mean every time um every time I fire up OBS there's a chance that it crashes my computer every time I fire up gems of war. There's a chance that it crashes, also crashes my computer. Um, it doesn't happen often, but just uh, alt tabbing between windows crashes my computer. Um, switching cords, like from my uh, cell phone cord to my uh, speaker cord, like their charger charger cords. Sometimes switching between those crashes my computer. So I only, I can't really afford to stream like maybe once a day, just to do all the setup at once I don't want I only want to have to do that once so that, that's what I kind of am getting at so at best I might do a Gems of War uh, a kind of a recap video a quickie recap let everybody know what I did but yeah it so but yeah it, at almost 10 minutes now on the intro I kind of really need one more thing like yesterday it's 78 78 degrees right now it was 80 
So part of the time I'm going to have the AC going. So, yeah. But, yeah, I need to get into pinball. But, holy shit, what a long-ass intro. Okay. Set my fan on the floor. Holy fucking jumping shit balls! Yeah, this guy needs to stream or record videos or at least document what he's doing. Sixteen thousand. Points. Yeah, I definitely have to cry foul on that. Versus second place guy here, 1400. And holy shit, some this poor preparation on my part. I gotta, I gotta go grab my water. I'll be back. This ain't really worth it. Yeah, I'd have to work a freaking miracle to get uh, to get up in the green. Ant Man. Forty one? Yeah. I have no faith and trust in my ability. Ghost Rider. Oh, kind of a side note, it just... Ghost Rider. When I... When I say I have no faith and trust in my ability, that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm gonna get a... It's always gonna be a terrible score. You know, or anything like that. What it could also mean is... If I pick... Yeah, I wouldn't touch that table with a 10-foot pole. Man, man. I mean... Whoops. Well, I guess I'm doing it now. Well, Scott, you may keep this soon, but in return, I have a job for you. I'll yeah, try to explain as best I can. From falling into the wrong hands. Trying to catch the ball. Nope. God damn, what a shot eater. Wah, wah, wah. 
Wah, wah, wah. It's perfectly safe. You suck. Yes, the regulator is functioning. Oh. Eater. So, I think what I was trying, what I was trying to say earlier, when I say I have no faith and trust in my ability, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm gonna suck ass all the time. Ant Man. Okay, same score. Or let's just say it could also mean it could mean two things. One. I could go for the tough ass score here, but then not do jack shit. Like maybe, maybe less than a million or something. But then I could do something like the score here, 10 million, not as hard to get, but I'll end up fucking dominating the table and get a hundred million on a 10, you know, on something like that. So basically I'm very inconsistent. I think that's the word I'm looking for. In fact, I guess since I'm here. Hey, Spider-Man. It's just you uh. and us. Now it's my turn to offer. Bounce. So. Lamp dick. Throw the goal. To hit that bell in the back left, that there. Of course. Nope. nope. Can't make them when they matter. Shot eater. Whoa, I gotta get it out of there. Danger signals. How did I get three of them? trying to shut off on me. I was supposed to get a bunch of points for that. Ball's gotta come down here. I don't know what to do. Oh, no hurry up for Joe. So, yeah. Fucking this well, I'm not even gonna bother sticking around for that. But like I said, one moment I can kick ass and take names on a table. Next moment I can totally fucking dominate. So yeah, I'll just that's the way it is. Let's see how I'm doing on the journeys.
Yeah. Replays needed. I mean, we got 27 and 28 million versus just nine. Yeah. Turned off his trainer for this one. Uh, yeah. The only thing I could think of is they um somehow managed to. Get the loops a whole bunch of times. You do that, the bumpers on this table get upgraded and just try to keep the ball in there as much as possible. I don't think you can't really do it any other way. I <laughs> suck ass. on that one too. So one ball, Avengers. Now Avengers, pretty good table. The problem is, is if the ball drains, you're going to be looking at at least a 10 second delay. So this table is not very conducive for a time mode. Because like I said, it, you lose a lot of time when the ball drains. Double flipper, bitch. Let's get back into battle, Avengers. They'll choose your Avenger. Here with a mission, sir. Hit them now. We're no 
not quitting that easily. So there's 10 seconds lost right there. So. Lamp dick. Gotta set this bitch. to unlimited. Here with a mission, sir. Nope. Don't choose your adventure. Here with a mission, sir. I made a bad call with this table. Of course, something else I hadn't anticipated. Um, when you, when a ball drains, you also lose out on the combo as well. Long enough to put a score up. Choose your adventure. Here with a mission, sir. There. Choose your adventure. I'll get the slugged when it is. What have I to fear? Bad call there. 1.4 million, pretty easy, pretty easily beatable, I imagine. Somebody probably come in and get a score of 47 billion. But y'all want to take a look at that? Yeah, yeah, same thing here.
Wait, what was that? Oh. Multi ball don't last long on this table, so no point in having that. Um, yeah, something else in these ball saves too. If um if you lose the ball save or If, uh, if triggering a ball save loses it, cause, or causes you to lose the ball save, then there's no point in having it either. And you just... A 70% longer ball save only matters if you can, if you can actually manage to hold on to the ball 70% longer. So, if that makes any sense at all. for that. Nope, nope. Already got the score. Come on, down the ball. Sleep at the wheel. right by me. Lamp dick. Fat shot right next to the upper right uh, flipper.
And then there's this shit. Get in the hole, please. This wasn't a problem yesterday. Hell, I can't even get in there. God damn. Yeah, clock's still ticking. This shitty is a last attempt. Double flipper, bitch. Just end it. Just end it.
Shots lit, not gonna hit. Yeah, full safe. So yeah, shots lit, not gonna hit. Just end that shit. Trying to catch the ball. You. Um, was that mode over? Yeah, I should have not. Wasn't paying attention. So, yeah, didn't do deadly squad on that one. I know I can improve the score, but I need a guarantee. I don't want to go through another five minutes of fucking up, so I'll just leave it. This ain't a huge table, so distance doesn't matter much. Now, yesterday I was consistently hitting the right ramp. Mark Spectre, the Moon Knight. I hunt bugs to please the Moon God. Can we go hurt people now? Something on your mind, Crawley? Conch, you hear? Can we go hurt people now? Yeah. Yesterday I was able to hit the right ramp consistently. There we go. Sure would like to hit something. Blind fools. You don't even know who you're dealing with. Morpheus, I... I feel 
his power. Inside my head. Morpheus. Most people sleep. For him releasing deadly psionic energy serves the Good same Lord. My God, am I sucking? Controller's fucking up. Just a scratch. Something on your mind, Crawley? Just shoot, just shoot. Let's pack some punch into the whirly bird, Frenchie. Nope. It's time to bag some bad guys. No, it should be double, should be double score. I think that's how I had it set up. I already lost the ball. was about to shut off on me. Ah, uh, Joe don't get no repair. Oh. Shit, I'm sucking. So, you know what? I'm gonna go wireless. Which can actually be a problem because I'm now at the mercy of, uh, I'm now at the mercy of Bluetooth. So, I gotta deal with input lag now. I'll try to flip. But there'll be like a, like, I probably see like a half second of lag. So...
I gotta shut my alarm off. I didn't got to have God damn. It's like, Zachariah, anyone? the ball. Oh, I tackle. Hi guys. Um, all this should probably come as no surprise to anybody. Bats sleep once again, so. Oh, you're welcome. It was starting to feel like a rinse and repeat of yesterday. Good to know you guys are liking it though. Um, a combination of, uh, sinuses, it's thunk, um, <laughs> okay, Dak, um, and then secondly, I, uh, I re-aggravated my, uh, my, I'll just call it my shoulder blade injury, well, I re-aggravated it while trying to sleep. What is that one? I've never seen that one. I hate it when it does that. I go out of the I go out of the game and it all shuts off. Mid Nick 380 Haka Whoa. Yeah, I've never seen that one before. Is that a is that a sumo wrestler? Okay. Um, when 
I first got it, I think it was just practically the whole entire shoulder blade that that got it. But uh, today, it's if you know what a rhomboid muscle is, it's the um, it's the muscle that connects the shoulder blade to the spine. It's around uh, it's around that area. Oh wow, you're a uh, you're hardcore to sumo, huh? I mean, I want to say that's Yokozuna, like the pro wrestler. I guess I could hover over it. Oh, slappies. I used to. Um, here I'd have to pay 30 to 35 bucks, um, which on one end, yeah, that's 30 to 35 bucks well spent, but on the downside, I'd almost, I'd almost have to go on vacation for something like that, because I used to do it like right on my, right on my first day off, do it then, so I actually have a couple days, but once I go back to work, ah, I get it back again. And then, especially now that I work part-time, I'm basically living hand-to-mouth. I can't really afford it. But yeah, um... I mean... Technically, yeah, that... I mean, they'll, they'll fix you up. If, if you can't afford it, but like I said, I can't really afford them anymore. Also, I'm going wirelessly. It just, I'm get, getting tired of the uh, controller disconnecting when, uh, when wired. So, which means I now have to deal with input lag as, uh, as what just happened there. So, so if you see, um, if you see a lot of, uh, a lot of balls rolling off the flipper, like, like I, like I didn't even bother trying, that's probably why. Too is uh this table is definitely an example of it, but uh I actually did pretty good on on this table yesterday. I was uh making you know I was for the most part hitting what I was aiming for. Not this time. I can't hit for shit, so I thought maybe going 
going wirelessly with the uh, input lag. Maybe I might actually be able to hit my shots. Beware the vengeance of Moon Knight. I hunt Can we go hurt people now? Still, he can't be kind of past. Conscious. Can we go hurt people now? Whoa! Just for the record, that's one more time I've brought you back to life. Combo! Combo! Yep. Input lag. Input lag. Something, something's not right. No, it can't be. Bushman. The mercenary who was nice enough to kill you and bring Input us lag. together in the first place. Hell of a guy. Now go kick his ass. My necktie on straight conscious. Watch where you're shooting. Uh, never seen that before. It's time to bag some bad guys. Seems also when playing wirelessly, it eats your inputs. <laughs> Good. Can I have the ball, please? Clock's ticking. Our last encounter was rigged. I demand a recap now. No, hey, surely we can talk it over. I will reap my reward, and you, you can't stand in my way. Carson knows has an interesting method of getting All right. Ahead. Well. Thank you, Tack. He just kills the opposition as the Black Spectre. The burning. I like it.
Oh, I definitely did better. Without my crutches. Uh, yeah. Little bit sussy on these two. I mean, 30 mil versus 10 mil. My fault. a bad table for a time mode. Too many cutscenes. Yeah, that's uh, it's one of the reasons why I hate Zachariah. It is rife with it.
Yeah, too many cutscenes, and the clock, the clock don't stop for any of them. Gary? Okay, I'm probably gonna have... At the end of this table, I'll probably explain. Job. The sound's gonna get distracting, but uh, scariest, um, gotta be Salem's Lot. Uh, it's a, it's a vampire movie, came out in the late 70s, I think. Um, made even more scarier by the fact that, uh, uh when I was a kid, my uh, bed was right underneath the window, right underneath the bedroom window. Um, if you've ever seen it, the uh, infinite, the infamous scene. Actually, now that I think about it, there was an episode of The Simpsons. I think it was a Halloween special. Bart gets turned into a vampire. Um, he's like, he's like floating in front of the window, and, and I don't remember exactly how the scene played out, but yeah, that's a, that's a throw, that's a, it's a reference to Salem's Lot, the window scene. I think there was like three or four of them. But yeah, vampires are coming visit the kids like kst, 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 up on the window. Kst, kst, kst. And it's like um uh, it's like they're invading their dreams or something. The kid wakes up and oh uh, walks towards the window, opens it up, and the vampire flies on it. <coughs> and again, I'm my my bed is underneath a bedroom window. So yeah, needless to say, watching this movie, uh, I'm going to bed and just all kinds of scared shitless. I got like a uh, I think for a while I had a little a little wooden cross. I mean I'd be a hold it I'd be holding it up. When did I watch it? Um probably right around when it came out. Like late seventies. Like when I was when I was a little kid, so I was probably five or six. So yeah. Shit like this is a lot more devastating when you're a child than when you're say 52 years old. I mean, I try to watch it and now it's like, it's like, wow, this is classic. This is awesome stuff. Yeah, it's, but um, uh, but as as far as everything else goes, um, I'd probably say my favorite horror movie is um, I'm trying to remember the name, probably Ringo. Ringo, it's a uh, Japanese horror. I guess um, another runner-up would be The Grudge. But yeah, I don't, I don't do jump scares. Not, not, not anymore. It, unless, uh, I know the, uh, the channel Alpha Beta Gamer, they have a lot of games with jump scares. But it, 
Yeah, and they also, it's, I have a hard time explaining this, but it kills the immersion, because when I'm more, when I'm more looking for the jump scare, you know, oh, it's going to come from out of there. No, no, oh. Oh, it, it, okay, she's going to open the closet. She's going to open the closet. It, it's probably not going to be in there. Okay, the camera's going to pan over here, and that's where the monster is. Bah! Yeah, that, I, I called it, yeah. When I spend more time doing that, when I feel like uh, it's like I'm an announce, it's like I'm announcing a hockey game or something, or like a soccer game or rugby, you know, like that. You just again, it's when I'm, it feels like I'm I'm announcing a freaking horror game. Okay, okay, okay. The, the jump scare was under there. It's probably gonna be over here. Boo! Ah, I told you, but you know, it just yeah, it, it's it's hardly any point in putting him in anymore. The best jump scares, I want to say, would be in like. Hallmark family friendly mo fr Hallmark fr family friendly shows. You know, soccer mom and dad, they're driving, you know, driving to the driving to the park. They're gonna go to their soccer game. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, car car fucking plows into them and, and then there was actually an Allstate commercial that had that. It was one of my favorite commercials. Like it was like guy and his wife, they're in their car driving and Wife pulls up close to him and, uh, also not a fucking door. <laughs> Car crashes into him and then the, uh, the Allstate sales pitch afterwards. But those are my kind of jump scares. The ones where you never expect them. But, you know, when you fire up, like, Friday the 13th or, I guess, Saw maybe or something like that, you kind of expect them. Um, and again, the, uh, Alpha Beta Gamer channel. A good chunk of the games they have on there also have jump scares but when you when you know they're coming it just you know hardly any point to it in fact i think of uh i've hovered the mouse over that the the timeline thingy like it'll show you like the little a little thumbnail of that moment I'll actually hover the mouse over there to see where the jump scares are, you know. And then that's something else, too. A lot of those games, the the big reveal, for lack of a better phrase, or a lot of those games, some of those games only have one single jump scare in that entire game footage, and that's it. The rest of it's just first-person detective looking for shit. But there's no actual real jump scares until towards the end of that video. I mean, that I just go through and look for where that happens. And then, um, I'd probably say now that we're on the subject, um, probably the, the grossest movie that I could think of would be uh, Gotta Be Dead Alive. Like, uh, again, I think I was probably a teenager when I when I first saw that. It was one of those movies that actually had me dry heaving. I just watch, like, certain parts and just... Like, like that. No other, no other gross movie I could think of makes me do that. I mean, most of the other movies that have a lot of gore and stuff... I'm actually, sometimes I find it kind of fascinating, like when it's really, I can't think of any movies off the top of my head, but some of them had me pausing them. Pause the movie, you know, look at the pile of blood and guts that's laying there or whatever, and just, wow, I wonder how that happened. You know, it, it it's like I'm doing forensics or something on some of these. I mean, some of the movies, games, whatnot, it's like, they actually do. It's like, I want to, for lack of a better phrase, forensically correct. Like, you could look at, you could look at gore, and you can, you know what happened to that person, how he died, or, you know, got gutted, stemmed to sternum, you know, that kind of thing. So, some of the, a lot of ones, a lot of them do a great job of this. You know, they don't just show, 
smash t you know smash tv graphics you know some guy gets shot and you see the head ah flying up in the air you see a bunch of eyeballs flying all you know nothing like that like they're trying to be accurate with their uh with their gore yeah but yeah dead alive took the cake And I don't, I don't want to say they're, I don't want to say they're over the top with their grossness, like Mortal Kombat. I mean, if you, especially if you, if you watch games like Mortal Kombat 9, 10, 11, it looks almost silly the way they, the way they do their gore now. I think there was one, it, it's, I think there's one fatality. I want to say uh, MK11. Triborg? I think that's his name. It's like three of... Uh, uh, I can't remember the names. Smoke might have been one of them, but it was a combination of Cyrax, the red one, and the blue one. They, uh, they combined all three of them into one, but he had a fatality on there. I guess he would turn it. He would turn on this big old hay baler, grab the opponent, and then spit out this big old uh, human body hay bale. That's what I'm talking about. It's just fucking silly. So that that stuff don't do anything to me. But yeah, Dead Alive had that had that perfect balance. I mean, you knew. I mean. I think it was actually a comedy, but it was gross enough to where, and, but not so gross as to, you know, for it to be laughable. This is helping though. I'm on basically no sleep. Oh, 54 mil. I ain't gonna get that. with that. Nope. So this is it. In case it wasn't obvious, it's a, this is the time mode. Infinite ball saves. So the only, other than the one and only exception of multi-ball, there is no point in having a ball save upgrade when your table is already a time mode. But like I said, um, this is the one and only exception, but here on the Doom table, I mean, multi balls are super, super rare on here. In fact, just going to go ahead and do this. The stream might lag a bit. I actually bookmarked this. Uh, the FX3 wiki. Yes. Yeah, so. 
Bright light. Okay, I guess I have to hit enter. So that's where I'm at right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, the two, uh, you're going to see when I play the table, there's two holes, both uh, right next to the left and out, left and right out lanes. But yeah, it looks like, um, you really got to rob Peter to pay Paul to puck Mary in order to get a multi-ball going on this. Oh, well, there's a 15-second multi-ball. But yeah, the... yeah, to hit multi ball. Yeah, there's a there's a captain ball that we should leave this part of the facility. The holograms show the path you need to follow. And that's a shot eater. Paragon. But this uh, multi ball only lasts 15 seconds, though. So. Initiating holographic projection. Yeah. So. So. Yeah. That's it. So yeah, that's, um, there was another way to get multi-ball, but, well, I got 10 attempts, but yeah, like I said, there were uh, two holes, one in the left out lane, one at the right, 
you hit those a whole bunch of times, it's also supposed to start multi-ball. But, otherwise, once again, having a ball save time bonus is fucking pointless. When you already have a time bonus with infinite uh, ball saves. It's just one of those things that really sticks in my crawl when they do that. It's actually super valuable if you're gonna play a one ball mode. But I don't do uh I don't do one ball modes on tournaments. Especially when there's a uh, limited play attempts. I suck at pinball, so oftentimes the one ball ends as quickly as it begins. This is one of those tables where this is one of those tables where it should be a ball save bonus with a multi-ball. On this table here, multi-ball, not that hard to get. But the problem is, is uh, it's one of those that multi-ball ends can or multi-ball can end as quickly as it begins. So you're better off having a ball saver in here. Um, getting the ball on the bumpers is actually a pain in the ass. It's one of those situations where uh you don't want to hit the loop with full power with full or with too much velocity on the ball because otherwise it'll it'll completely loop around skipping the bumpers Still in second. And yeah, welcome to the stream, Paragon, in case I did not say earlier.
Ah, uh, ball stopped. Not so much for that. Try again. But this time, I can't hit combos for shit on this table, so bumpers. Prepare yourselves for the greatest pinball gaming experience of all time. Isn't that a bit of hyperbole? That'll be better than the Iron Man. That's some Zachariah bullshit right there. Whoever it is that does this voice here, I don't think um Down here. Just keep playing. Yeah. Now uh he does Ryan Reynolds doesn't do the voice on here, does he? I don't think he does. Big time shot eater right there. You don't want the ball going in there. Get the troops ready. Oh, that's the yeah, first one.
Shot eater. Double flipper, bitch. I am not very coordinated. Just barely. Nope, nope. All four of them. I gotta do uh, one more. Total annihilation. And all fuck them, all, every, every single one of them drain. Thank God for ball save. Um, life just blinked in my apartment. Something's going on. This multi ball here. Yep. This multi ball here is actually better than the um, quote unquote official one. Because uh, you can hit any of the ramps and uh, ramps and loops and they'll count. One while it lasted.
Get the troops ready. Get the troops ready. Missiles locked on target. Missiles locked on target. Shot eater. Oh, I need a... I'll probably want to explain this real quick. I do use a lot of... Use a fair amount of terms when streaming. Um, when it's... A shot eater is something like what you just saw there. A shot that does absolutely nothing for you. Yet, no matter how hard I try, I still can't, I still can't stop making that damn, getting the ball in there. So sometimes you'll see me, um, because I'm trying to avoid that shot eater, sometimes you'll see me just making some really stupid, dumb shots, or sometimes the ball just even goes all the way out the flipper, um, I'm too late on the flip and it drains anyway. That's probably because I'm trying to avoid making that damn shot eater shot. Another table on here, Epic Quest. I don't know how familiar you are with FX3, but it's got a major shot eater problem. Like there's two, two, uh, two holes in the center of that table. Two, not one, but two of them in the center. It's got another problem like like that. So yeah, you'll you'll probably see me make a lot of bad shots, um, a lot of bad flips, um balls rolling right off the flipper because I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm really trying to avoid avoid having my shots eaten I mean it's kind of like uh, Charlie Brown's kite kite eating tree he makes his kite goes out and flies and all of a sudden the tree and just starts chowing down on it he like loses a lot of kites this way that's what I got with pinball I lose a lot of shots this way and then um Yeah, for this one here, I hate it when FX3 does this. Maybe, just maybe, uh, I'm on my notepad right now. I actually made a video about this yesterday. Um, White just mentioned it. It's called a double flipper bitch. I'm hoping it's this one here. If not, let me know. Boost. Oh, did better. Now I'm ranked tenth. Pretty sussy score right there. Especially when second place is only 20 mil. I mean, unless he's got a replay for this. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. But yeah, thanks for bringing him up. So, I haven't had, I haven't had any lately. Or, I haven't had any today, but when a shot doesn't go all the way up a ramp. 
you know, does a call of up and then goes all the way back down. You'll hear me go, lip dick. It used, I used to call it a pussy flip. It just, I mean, especially when the shot is a flush, is a straight on flush shot. Boom, straight up the ramp, but it doesn't go all the way up. Like a dead on balls, accurate shot, that kind of thing. It still doesn't go all the way up. <laughs> Lost my thong. <laughs> and I imagine creeping out a lot of people too in the process, huh? What the hell is he talking about? So yesterday, fish tails. So yesterday, I couldn't stop making the shot. I actually, um, you're gonna talk or you're gonna fish. I'm gonna talk. I, it's not a bad multi ball, but uh, the problem is, is it, this is one of those where the multi ball often ends as quickly as it begins. And I think, um, just to restart multi-ball, it's a pain in the ass trying to, trying to get it restarted, because I think a, a drop target pops up from, uh, from the second multi-ball onward. Yeah, and this FX3 version, though, it's a lot worse than the pinball arcade one. In the middle. Grab your gear. Yeah, I'm actually trying not to make that shot. In the middle. Oh, fishtails? That's, uh... It's another way of saying why. You might... Because you might have... On some of the cutscenes that you've seen on this table, sometimes it'll say, fish stretched. And then what you saw there, total why. Like a pop. I mean... I mean, I was born and raised here in Minnesota. I live in Minnesota now, but... I'm pretty sure a lot of my relatives do this. They tell fish tales, like, 
they caught like a they they caught a four they caught a four pound fish, but when they're bragging to their buddies, they'll say it was six pounds. You know that that it's a fish tail. Basically, they're just they're trying to bullshit their buddies. They're trying to make that fish bigger than it actually was. So, I guess so. Like I said, sometimes you'll see uh, the cutscenes say fish stretched when you see the uh, fish kind of. Um, in fact, I might be able to show it on here. Yeah, stretch the truth. Yeah, you, you hit these. Whoa, you got one on there, eh? How big was it? You see over here, I think um, it's a random reward. Sometimes you get zero points. Other times, you get, uh, I think you can get like five or ten mil. Not a problem. Yeah. To stretch the truth about the fish caught, I don't know if you can see this because of my overlays. Yeah, well, also, like I said, I pretty much everybody in my family are, uh, they're outdoorsmen. They're outdoorsy. They're not hunting and fishing and all that. I'm pretty sure they've probably done this before. They like caught a a four pound sunfish, but when they're uh, when they're telling stories to their buddies, oh yeah, I caught a I caught a seven pound sunfish yesterday. You know, basically bragging about it. in there. I was trying to aim for the loop. Nope. And then for a uh, multi-ball, shoot the ball in the hole, and then you want to aim for the uh, left spinner. See it happening. I try. Actually, you know what? I know this is kind of abrupt. It's uh it's 12.05 a.m. right now. And um here in a couple hours. I'm gonna switch over from pinball to gems of war because it's the weekly reset, so there's gonna be lots to do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop here on FX3. 
I myself am gonna go on intermission because yeah, I do need to get up on my feet and off my back and back and all that. Probably gonna get me something to eat and all that stuff too, so. But yeah, I wanna get into some uh, pinball arcade before uh before 2 a.m. Oh, hi Del. Um Yeah, you caught uh you just caught the tail end of FX3. So about to break off for a few here. Gotta be a minute. And then, um, for, and then Paragon and anybody else, um, usually, uh, I always have a video going, um, uh, during intermission. These days, it's usually, uh, cop chases. Getting stuff set up right now. Oh, and uh, this is a uh, this is an in progress video. It's like an hour long. It's a compilation of various uh, cop chases, arrests, and that kind of thing. Should be good to go. I think it's the tail, this is the tail end of the chase here. And then um, on all these, um, until the chase actually starts, there's going to be no sound. I, I don't know why they do it like that, but they do. I'm gonna fire up my AC as well. Anyway, I'll be back.
foot behind the houses going east, black male, green sweatshirt. Take your seatbelt off.
No, I'm looking out for lights. I'm not. Okay, Dave, we're out just for certain. Six the rockers, they asked for our assistance. There you go. So just me or does he have that webcam way the fuck over on the uh, passenger side? Just pet him. Just pet him. He's gonna run. I gotta pause it here real quick. But I have time to do this when I got food in my mouth. That's it's gotta be one of the dumbest things you could ever do. I mean, I want it, yeah. You get out of the car, you run. You don't stand a chance against, you know the speed of a police car, but on top of that, he's doing this with somebody in the passenger side. And apparently the passenger was not on board with the whole just get out and run thing. So I'm pretty sure they're going to grab her, probably interrogate her. Um, have you ever seen a movie called Serpico? There was a, there was a scene in there, like, um, where this kind of thing actually happened, like, the Serpico and a bunch of other cops are trying to catch these robbers. Um, I think uh, a bunch of them ran. Or I don't know how it was. I haven't seen the movie in years, but a bunch of them ran. And one of them got stuck. Like I said, I don't know the exact situation, but basically they left him. They basically left him holding the bag. Cops caught him. Um, they interrogated him, but what did 
but they're actually pretty good at uh, convincing them, look, hey, your buddies just fucked you over. They left you. So you're, you know, you're better. Why not just go ahead and, you know, give up their names, you know, or, you know, why not snitch on them? Because, you know, again, they screwed you. You know, so kind of a, kind of a died and dash, you know, like when, um, you know, everybody sits and eats, but they don't plan on paying the bill. Um, they try to wait for, uh, one guy to go to the bathroom. Once he's in the bathroom, they all clear out of there, and they all drive off, leaving him with the bill. Kind of the same thing here. Because they're going to make her talk now. So, that, the guy that just took off and left him, he's fucked. So, yeah. Because she's going to spill all about him now. In fact, I was probably trying to say this here a minute or two ago. He probably never even told her. I don't know why I'm saying her, but he probably never even told a passenger that he was going to get out and leave. He just does it. So, you know, he does it. Hey, hey man, I'm going to stop right here and uh, both of us get out and run. Okay. You know, you know, got to coordinate with them and that kind of thing and then pew, go their separate ways. But no, it just <laughs> runs off and just kind of leaves her sitting there. So, kind of a dick move. Yeah. Yeah, first. Come on with your hands up. And I'm. And I'm also guessing she's probably traumatized as fuck right now. Hey, put your hands up. Hey, don't you reach in that car? I'll shoot you. She's probably scared shitless. She didn't even. Oh, what the hell? They're kind of overacting in that, in that. You know, simply walk up to her, do what they did in some of these other videos. Okay, turn around with your back towards me, walk backwards, to, you know, walk backwards to the sound of my voice, start walking back, and then just put her in this, but you sure as hell didn't have to ride the king her ass. Actually, no, Ron the King would have been the right word. I mean, you sure as hell didn't have to suplex her. I mean, that was uncalled for. Well, well, these are also the same people that will pit you just like that. Whereas most other states, most other videos I've watched, they have to actually, they have to actually get permission first. Oh God, those chases fucking drag. I mean, wide open. I mean, easily go and pit them. But no, they have to request permission to pit, and they got to sit here and wait for. They gotta wait for the okay from dispatch in order to do it. So during that time, this is all you see. You just see, or you just see the cop car and the bad guy, like wide freaking open. But yeah, this this is all you see for a long time until finally he gets the okay and then goes up and pits him. But Arkansas here is the only one, only ones where they'll they get right into it. Which doesn't always work. I get. I'm guessing these guys. These guys here. Yeah, these guys here. They're old-fashioned. They just want to go up and pick your ass. 
because again, spike strips don't always work. Um, especially, especially the more seasoned, for lack of a better word, more seasoned criminals. Because oftentimes when they're laying down spike strips, the cops <laughs> go back, go back away, because so they don't, you know, so they don't, so they themselves don't get hit with the spikes. I'm sure the the criminals probably see the cops, see look in their rearview mirror and see the cops just kind of, and that probably raises some alarm bells. So they'll look out for look out for the strips and go around them. And yeah, and then that that's something else too. A lot of I couldn't I couldn't give you exact situations, but I've seen cops where they'll They'll set the spike strip up out in broad daylight. They got the cop car right out there in the open. You can see him a mile away. You can see the you can see the other you can see the cop on the other side of the other side of the road. Cop car, cop. You can see him way far back. I'm pretty sure that's a that's a pretty big red flag right there, you know. Like, hey, we got spike strips. So Yeah. Yeah, whereas I guess um uh, I'm a pit guy. Just like um just like most uh, RPGs that have, you know, a tank, healer, you know, melee DPS, range DPS, I'm a melee guy. Too cuz I'd rather I'd rather have the control. You know, I'd rather it be on me and not a and not a set of spikes because, you know, I can be up there controlling the whole situation, controlling him, controlling his car. Rather than going the range DPS route and just laying down the spike strips and hoping the hell he runs over him. Yeah. But yeah, throw her down like that was uncalled. <laughs> Go ahead and call it good there. So I'm going to go ahead and start transitioning over to Pinball Arcade. Sorry to keep anybody waiting, but this is something I've been doing these days. Um, just taking longer intermissions, just being able to sit down and relax some. Um, letting my body relax some. Um, letting my mind relax, calming down a bit, you know. That way, so, you know, getting ready for the next uh, go around to pinball. Oh. Uh, the channel is called, um, Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse. I don't know the name of the I don't know the name of the tune. But here, let me. I wish I knew the name. Like the Lost Gods or something like that. But yeah, right, right when I first saw the desktop. Oh. Speaks to me. So, yeah, right when I saw that, I. Desktop background, definitely. But, uh, this, for what it's worth, this is actually a screenshot. 
It's not my actual desktop as it is right now. I have another one, but it's going to be... I practically have to move heaven and earth in order to get it all set up and stuff. Whoops. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I think I'm good to go. All right. Um, so for those that have never seen me stream, um, uh, stream pinball, um, I sometimes do it on FX3 if um if I'm done with everything else. But here, it's random tables, and unless I have a good reason for doing so, I don't play the same one twice. I'm gonna turn my controller on. And again, I'm playing wirelessly, which actually, now that I think about it, seemed to work for uh, FX3. I was, at, I was actually having an easier time, but normally, when I'm playing wirelessly, I gotta deal with input lag. I have to, I'm basically a slave to my Bluetooth now, which oftentimes cuts in and out. I don't know how well it's gonna work uh, in Pinball Arcade, though. We're about to find out. Try to get the... There we go, there we go. I'll look at here in a second. Um, bungee table? Oh, bungle table? No, that's, um, cyclone. So much for that. That's fine. It'll, it ends the ball quicker. So, multi-ball, on the off chance I could actually do it. Nope, not gonna happen. I can hit the shelter, but I'm a shitty pinball player, so I probably won't get it. Well, miracle of miracles. 
And please believe me when I say that shelter shot that I just did, that hole, it's not that easy of a shot to make. I mean, for every one of those that you've probably seen me make, lots of others, I don't. I keep, uh, I keep, I keep not being able to hit the damn thing. This is a consolation prize multi ball right here. Normally in regular multi ball, you get a jackpot. Not in here. I think it's like 200k points and it ate my input. Just tilted, just tilted. That's intentional. Again, this is one of those tables where the end of ball bonus tally often takes longer than the ball itself. See, it just becomes a huge time suck, so it's just, I'd rather just tilt the table and get it over and done with. And on this table though Oh, I guess that counts Not enough that one score is mine. So, yeah, I, I have done good on this table. A little too much mustard on that hot dog. Send it fat. The storm is coming. Storm's gonna be going too. Especially with this kind of table. Oh, looks like rain. Mm, 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 mm. I just thought about this. This table and the previous one, I think there's a trilogy of them. I can't remember what the third table was, but yeah, this is one hell of a clinky dink right here. Double flipper, bitch. Yeah, tilted, tilted. This is another one of those tables where it's got this really super long uh, end of ball bonus tally.
There we go. That's what I'm trying to aim for. With the, with the plunger? Finish it off. I just tilt it. But yeah, technically the skill shot is here in the drop targets. My skill shot is here at this ramp. There we go. Backhanded? No. All skiers report to the skiers lounge. The ski lift is now open. table is gonna give me multi-ball the problem is is gotta hit the thing wow, i think that wow. the far right hole over there more often than not i have to get in there on accident unless that happens um but yeah that left ramp. You, you, you see it now? The left. Yeah, it's called. You're gonna hear the tur. You're gonna hear the shot every so often. Called rip the crud. But yeah, I didn't get it. This is a psychopath. maybe on accident. Call my mom, have her help me ski. Hey, that's a mucho bonus. Yeah, and this is one of those tables where I don't I don't need to tilt the table when a ball drains. You can get it over with quick. Oh, there went my ball lock. Race to the bottom! Race to the bottom! I appreciate that. Thanks. I probably won't get it. that a lot in here. Oh, 
Lamp dick. Because the ramps on this table are too big and long. They're, it's they almost... Seem to get control of the ball. No, I never can. It's like a uh, Terminator 2. It's like... I think both of them are too fucking steep. It's like... You have... It's next to impossible to make them from where I'm at right now in like kind of a, a standing position. There has to already be some speed on the ball in order for me to make them. Take another look. It's big go round. Yeah, lamp dick. Yellow card. And keep back into play. Barely. I mean, hell, I didn't even go all the way up in the ramp either. Skill. We're ready for a corner kick. Yeah, Yellow we got card. input lag. That's the world. Input lag. Somebody fetch me a reason. I just love, love that minty from Alder High flavor. Jesus. I wanted to clip that. Two, ball two. <sighs> okay, so gonna go ahead and plug it in. Plug in my controller. Okay, left ramp, left ramp. Come on. Come on, Joe. No. You mind if I mark my territory? Fuck. There's a kind of a long reason, long explanation as to why I didn't want to do that. It's alive! 
So, yeah. Because... All I gotta deal with that. Double super jackpot. Now there goes one. I'm on a roll. Somebody this seldom happens. That didn't hurt, did it? That's actually uh, one of the harder most to complete. <laughs> Extra ball. Blur. Another shot eater right here. Yeah, I, um, oh, never mind. I still gotta get, um, I gotta wait for the end of ball crap. Shoot the game. I still gotta hit this a bunch more times. I gotta restart multi-ball. Um, I still need to get in here, which, what I'm, what I was trying to say earlier, the way you want to do these, do this table is, uh, you, you ideally want to start all the modes at the same time. And then when you do that, you want to you want to have the center ramp open. Get up in there and that'll start Frankenstein multi-ball. And uh, any multi-ball on here stops the timers on all the modes, but you have to start the modes first in order for that to happen. So, earlier, I only had the wolf mode started and then it went up in here for a multi-ball. That's why I was kind of pissed. Because 
all other modes, if you haven't started them, you can't start them during a multi ball. So, it was basically a waste of a good multi ball. And the ball tally is gonna last longer than the ball did, so. Pit is lit. Something that uh, seldom happens on here. Usually I don't get a um, mosh pit multi ball until after the wizard mode, actually. The center spinner is one of the last shots I go after. No, please, not the moon again. Kind of fell asleep at the wheel. But yeah, that's... And yes, I have done good on this table before. I don't want to go into too much detail. I actually made a video on this. It's another term you're going to hear me say a lot. Double flipper bitch. In fact, uh, White mentioned it some time ago. And you could see the flippers. See the big old gap between the flippers. If you mistime this flip, like when the ball's coming over here, the ball will, it'll just fly right on between them. It's called a double flipper bitch. Um... Pinball legend Bo and Karens, he does tutorials and stuff. I think he coined the phrase. I might be wrong though. Um, I've extended that. I've extended that term to include the standard two middle ones. If the ball squeaks in, like when you pop both flippers up at the same time, pinball one on one, it's something you shouldn't be doing, but yet I do anyway. I call that a double flipper bitch as well. So, but I. At least in my experience, this table was the origin of that.
I've already played this one. didn't quite work. Ball didn't do what I wanted to. I can't seem to make the quote-unquote required shots, that being one of them, the other one being the upper right ramp. I'll take over multi-ball. Ah, uh, game's lagging. Ideally, you want to aim for the center one. But well, not gonna happen. Again, gotta aim for the middle one. Guess it ain't gonna happen. It's a multi ball. Um, this is actually it actually kind of sucks the way the balls come down. Because oftentimes they'll go straight down the middle. One. Yeah, single pile down the fucking sides. Oh shit! So much for that. Game's lagging. Yeah, game's lagging.
much for that. But it's looking like a rinse and repeat of yesterday. Here. Once again, I'll just go ahead and unplug the controller. Since I suck ass either, since either with or without input lag, I'm sucking ass right now, so might as well do it without any interruptions. Yeah, that don't happen often. Those uh, blue targets on the right are actually a pretty big pain in the ass to hit. They're over on the right, and um, you actually have easy access to um, the alt lane over there. Nope, should have let the ball bounce. So, the big object objective on here. Um, somebody want to do the honors? Is you got to hit those or flashing orange targets. You hit them all, and for your first multiball, it'll light two locks. Every multiball after, it'll only light one. So... Yum, 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 Ah, flubbed that one. That's fine. My fault on that one. So. So, now it starts all over. Like I said, um, the blue targets on the right are actually a pain in the ass to hit. And just like uh, this table, just like all the other classic ones, everything you do has to be on one ball. If not, it all re went right by me. It all resets. Yum, 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 yum. for a moment. That's fine. Just got a little overzealous. But then again, if I hadn't have done that, the ball would have just went straight to the all lane. It's a great day to go hunting. Alright, um, I gotta Table is gonna be fucking loud. I gotta turn the uh, external volume down. If I can catch the ball, I gotta talk about something. Look at the wreck on him. 
Okay, on one end, I I appreciate them um, explaining what shots to make. But you know, all you really need is all you really need to say is, shoot the left ramp. And that's it. You don't have to sit here and go. I mean, you don't have to go shoot the left ramp for big for elk multi ball. You know, or you don't. You know, shoot the left ramp and then the right loop, and then hit. It, take down the drop targets three times and then hit the left ramp again to start super duper multi ball. You know, I mean, I don't need a big long explanation. Just hit the left ramp. That's all I need. Lamp hit. Almost turned into a double flipper, bitch. Double scoring. Time extended. Multi ball ready, which I probably won't get. Especially when the ball drains just like that. That's some Zachariah bullshit right there. There he goes. Get him. Oh, damn, I thought you needed six. And we got lag. We're lagging. We're lagging. It's lagging. Double flipper, bitch. Well, let's have a ball save that lasts longer than five seconds. I think that's what happened. So I can set the um, volume back to normal. Nine one one emergency. Oh. I had a feeling that was going to happen. So much for that. Too early. Don't know what countdown is. No idea what I'm supposed to be aiming for on countdown. Because, yeah, that's what I like to do when my wife's nine months pregnant. Hey, let's go camping out in the middle of nowhere. I'm no spring chicken either. Oh, 
Holy. Here. Oh, wow. There's a ball save on this table. But barely only lasts like a few seconds, though. Yep, because that's what I like to do. I like to take my kids out and drive them into a fucking blazing inferno. So, and there's a big fucking gap. There's a big fucking gap. So, it's not a lot of times it just makes up uh, trying to nudge, trying to nudge pointless. Ball. Nine one one emergency. Yeah, I'm in the conflict story warehouse and lake street the building was fire. I'm dispatching the fire department crew. Not so much for that. Yeah, nothing like a multi ball that ends as quickly as it begins. Input lag. All right, that was ball three. Come on in. Uh, yeah, skipping this one. Um, I'm only gonna be playing pinball for another 45 minutes, so I'm trying to avoid tables that either, either they drag, or once were. I could actually play a very long time on. I already played this one. I sure as hell don't want to play this one again. Same thing here. Time to rock. This table fucking drags. Noisy as hell right here. Yeah, I just remember there's a tilt bug on this table. It's not so bad that it's pretty sensitive. Tilts easily. The problem is, is after you nudge. There's like this delay. Like it won't tilt immediately. It won't. Uh, it doesn't kick in until like a second or two after. Uh, after you do it. Very disconcerting. Also, I need to talk about... I need to talk about something other than the fact that I'm a fucking moron. Um, You guys probably see me doing it a lot. Here, let me...
Okay, so you, you guys have seen me do it a lot. Just lighting the ball bounce from one flipper to another. No, boing, 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 that kind of thing. Sometimes, um, you may, in a, in a span of a moment, you may be thinking, huh, I think Joe's just gonna let the ball bounce from one flipper to another here. But yet, I don't. One of the reasons why is, uh, if it looks like the ball is gonna head towards the very base of a flipper, that's when you don't, that's when you gotta catch the ball, because otherwise, I think they're, what, there's a certain way I wanted to say this. The very, the uh, very base of the flipper is like solid metal. Yeah, the, the flipper, it's a ball joint with, um, like a little metal rod. Little metal rod going through right through the very middle of the flipper, and then it's surrounded by rubber and plastic. Well, again, the base of the flipper, it's 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 a ball joint. It's it's solid metal. So, the oftentimes if the ball hits that, it won't bounce. It won't bounce. It won't. It won't bounce again. The base is solid, so it'll just it'll just ricochet off the base. So. So again, if you ever uh, if you ever watch me watch me do stuff like this, and if it looks like, yep, oh, you'll probably let the ball bounce, but yet I don't. That's probably why. I look because it looks like the ball's heading towards the base. So in that situation, I have to catch the ball or flip, or I have to either hit it or catch it. Hit the post like I hoped, but yeah, that's put me into it. Winners never quit. I must that I'm probably one of the biggest losers you'll ever meet. Player one, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Joy, welcome to off road racing. Shoot the ramp and soar big. My god, I got some slow ass reflexes. Do it again. Hey, hey. Yeah, no this way. This is another one with a long end of ball bonus. I actually am. I mean, if the end of ball bonus tally takes longer than the ball itself, then it's your best off just rushing things. Fuck this. There might be some lag on here. This table here is a bit graphics intensive. Oh, something was off. Shit, the lag.
Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. And then I do something stupid like that. I guess the input lag is kicking my ass. That's gotta be what it is. Much for that. Yeah, Zachariah. Multiball. I don't remember what you had to do. I don't remember what you had to do in multiball, though. I seldom get it on here. Usually, this table's a quick three and out for me. And that shit happens, too. So. I just stand there and stare at it. I'm not doing shit on Pinball Arcade, so I'm just going to go ahead and bail out of it. And then I'm going to start switching over to uh, Zachariah. I had... Uh, I had it happen yesterday. I sucked so bad yesterday that uh, Zachariah Pinball... I actually did better on it than I did the previous two platforms. It's going to take a minute or two to load up. Mm. Mm -mm. 
If this is what I'm thinking, it's gonna get skipped. Oh yeah, block this one. I'd have to make a whole separate video just for that one. Pinball champ. The original. Like that, you're more than just a chump, dude. Oh, yeah, champ. You know, I am the champ, and then the ball drains like seconds after you punch the damn ball. This is why I, this is why I avoid Zachariah when possible. Oh, and then there's this. I'm actually trying to get in the upper ramp. I gotta get be able to get the ball on the left flipper first. And what and I haven't do that shit. Lower back starting to hurt. Yeah. Snap crackle pop. Snap crackle pop. There it is. And then I fuck it up mo moments after. So. Want the ball up there yet? <laughs> nice. Fucked it up. I fucked it up. And I think everything. No, still up, still up. Uh, orange special. Towards the middle of the table, got it. Shoot again.
Fucked it up. Top three percent. Space Shuttle Remake. Game freeze. Lamp dick. to hit that right ramp. Is that ball three? Should be multi ball, yep. Ball three. You are sick. Supersonic Retro.
Game's gonna lag. I got a Steam achievement. Top hand. that. Not straight down the middle. Granada. Um, oh, there it is. All right. One time I can get the one time I can actually catch the damn ball. Can't hit what I'm aiming at, so I ain't gonna bother. Beastmaster. This is a homebrew table. So, I guess 
It's just kind of handy. This table is the uh, GD table. Fucked it up. No. It's gonna be a sharp ball. Oh, got lucky. Controller's fucking up. Hot Wheels Retro. Probably going to be my last table right here. Flipper bitch that one. Oh, that's a saucer there. suck ass in this table. Okay, I think I got time for one more. Zancor Remake. Combo. Combo. Baldrin, bullshit. Gumbo, 
Oh, wait, and I don't think you said it. Not so much for that. Combo. Combo. I'm still. No. I... Don't move. Oh, there goes my ball save. of a bad mode.
Hard anyway. Did I beat my previous? Oh, I don't think I did. <sighs> okay, so that's gonna do it for pinball. Um, gonna be another intermission. After that, I'm gonna start trying.